Let me ask you a question. Do you ever wonder what type of light should I buy so that I look my best on camera in video? Because maybe you see other people and their faces aren't in shadows and it's well lit and you're like, what are they doing? So I thought I'd tell you what we use, show you some things that we have and, and how much they cost and see what will work for you and what best fits your budget. Well, right now I'm looking at our Mega Diva Light Ring. I think it's 18 inches. It's on a tripod. I'm facing it. It's dusk outside. I'm getting a little bit of light through the window, but this is my main light source. My husband's um, filming this right now from my iPhone, so he's just on the other side of the Diva Light Ring. So this is $250. We love it because we can stand and film. We can film content videos. We can film movement videos and we can film sales videos. But then there's lots of other things that we use when we wanna be quick, uh, on the go, at our lower budget. So the first one is this simple little light. It's a clip-on, right? So I just have it clipped to a notebook. Most people would clip it to a laptop and it does have to plug in, okay? So what's good about it is the phone is here, the light's here, and it makes a significant difference, especially when it's super dark out and you can adjust the lights. This is a UB size to three different uh, levels. So if I wanted it higher, I'm gonna have to put it on a box. Okay, now another thing that I really like about this is if I had my laptop open and I was on Skype or I was on Zoom, I could just borrow this light source over to the laptop and still get that extra little bit of light. So I like this, it's very bendable. I would say this one, and we'll put links to these above or below the video. I could travel with this. You could definitely, it rolls right up and fit in a suitcase. Okay, so coming up next is pretty much the second version of this. They actually called this the 2.0 version. Same and company? Same company. Um, Tristan doesn't like this one. No. He says it's too stiff. <laughs> Oops, Siri wants to help me. Um, that it doesn't bend as much. But what I like about it is it's stable, right? It still has to plug into something. And I like that it's tall. I would never have to put this on a box and I could easily borrow the light source over here on my computer. Um, the lighting is about the same. Might yeah, actually seem a little bit brighter. Oop, don't wanna be square. There's the blue. I never use the blue tones. So this is nothing. So see how the eyes look really dark? And then just that little bit of light would make a difference. I'd probably pull it way down like that. Cool. Okay. So we probably won't keep this one, right? That's up to you. If you like the way that it works. I just would I put in my two cents. This metal here mm -hmm. bends better and, and holds this one, you bend it and it kind of moves a little bit out right. of place, so. Okay, so this next one, this is a really unique one. Really, really unique. So it comes with, same company, it comes with this selfie stick. Now what we like about these selfie stick tripod bottom is this quick release. So while you're filming, if you're like us in film movement, you can move things around. So we like that. The bottom is, is pretty darn sturdy and there's multiple ways to use it. Okay, again, it's supposed to plug in to a laptop. But I thought, wow, that's inconvenient if, see, because this light tips, you could use this as a selfie stick, right? But then you're like, well, I can, I have to plug it into my laptop. No, you don't, because then you can buy a little portable battery that you're gonna stick in your pocket and put it in there. Mm. And actually your phone can charge at the same time if you need it. Okay, so, here we go. This uh, adjusts on the bottom, it goes wider as well for more stability on that. It's a tripod selfie stick with so, a light. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that, is really nice light. It's a significant really amount of nice light. light. What's the price? 28, 30? It's not bad compared to this one over here, which was- 250. Okay. 
So. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on again. Yeah, so I'm really liking this one, and I was surprised that even tipping it down doesn't look too bad. You could also, of course, shorten up all of these adjustments and set it on a table or something like that, but I wouldn't travel with it. Um, but if, you, if you're looking for one, you're like, I can only buy one thing. This does give you the tripod, selfie stick. This screws off. This little top thing comes off and you can actually just put your phone right on the top of it like a normal selfie stick if you don't want to put it on the side like this. That means so, you wouldn't use the light if you did that. Right. For on a good daylight. But look at how much light that's bringing to your face. It's yeah. got a nice glow. These round oval type lights, they really light the face up in a balanced way. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Yeah, and all the adjustments that you have. Let's see the button real quick. So it's got uh, up and down and then different settings, right? So mm -hmm. brighter. Or dark dimmer. So I'm liking that. So if you wanted to use it as a selfie stick again, you know, you would tip this, you can tip this, you can close the legs, and you slide this in your pocket, and holy ho, there you go. <laughs> Show on the road. Show on the road. Which is great for those content creators who like to go places and film and take it with you when you really, you know, maybe you, I, that would be difficult to travel with, but you could put it in your suitcase if you packed it well. Yeah, you probably want to whole, carry that piece on. A whole lighting kit, though, you never know. Yeah. I mean, we're filming. I mean, for thirty dollars. All over the place. So. Okay, so this is probably both of our favorites. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Now the rim is the diva on there is a little bit wider. I don't know if you guys can see. You mean the circle? Yeah, the circumference. Yes. It's a little this, bigger. This one I think is eight and the inches. And this one is 10.2. It's got a nice base. Okay. It's all about that base. It's all about the base. Okay. So the reason I think this one is so good is the light surrounds you. Right? And we all, right? That's like everyone's goal in life is to be in the light. <laughs> so this one is just beautiful. I'm going to turn that off real quick. I'll show the before and after. Okay, so look at the face. Look at the face. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Take a look over here. That's a nice glow. Look at that. So pretty. All these settings. I like that you can add a selfie stick to this one too if you want. Yeah, to. so that's the whole thing. So you're like, okay, great. I got the, why don't, turn that light on, looks so much better. Um, so you put it on your desk and it's down there. It's like, oh no. Wouldn't it be great if you had a selfie stick and this was just your light source? Mm. So like Tristan said, um, almost all of these little legs on all the selfie sticks, they just turn right up. I never knew that. They didn't teach me that at girls' school, right? <laughs> so when you buy different things, you can swap them out. I mean, I'm always picking up a selfie stick and my husband <laughs> has taken the legs off and put it on something else. We make our own. So then... <laughs> you could put it right on top of there. So you can make them as tall as you want. Yeah. So in a way, we're kind of making a better version of this. That's true. Right, because this is good, but the light is above. Uh, the... Show the difference. So see how the phone's here on this one and the light's up here. This one, it's right around the phone. That's an even right. lighting. So it's source. probably the, um, the closest version you can get to one of the this guy. See, because the ones. cameras or the iPads or the phones go in the middle mm -hmm. of there. What another thing you could do with this on a budget, we said this is under $30, is get a tripod like this one that goes full height. Selfie stick tripod. Selfie stick tripod, you know, that has the snap releases and use it on a stand and stand and even in front of a window. So. I use lights even if I'm in front of a window when, when needed, but when it's dark out, you can if you can I'll get plenty of light with these. That's a great, I, I think that's the winner for me. Well, we have one more thing. Oh, more things. More you, things. You've got, I'm going to give you 25 seconds. That's it. So you get <laughs> 10 minutes total. Okay. <laughs> this little clip on, um, and it, it adjusts one, two, three. What do I love about this? This is, I don't know, $10. Uh, is it's battery powered. Throw it in my purse, throw it in a suitcase, throw it in the car, they're all over the place. And then you just clip them on. 
and it it does give you well I'm on a time lapse a decent amount of light but when you're live if you're using it for live stream it's going to block the comments so it's better just to use it in a in a photo but one night we were going on location to film somewhere over Christmas at night we were going to go show our tribe a Christmas tree downtown and we got stuck in a traffic jam and the live was scheduled and so we had to go live in the car in the dark and this is all we had and, and it came out great it was it you could tell it was pitch dark except on our faces so I would I would have one of these just for whenever you need it um, I've even clipped it on my laptop for a little bit of extra light it's just it's just super convenient okay so there you have it I think we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this one the ten and a half inch because you just can't return that and I think we're gonna keep this white one that's so bendy bendy mm -hmm. because that's gonna be really good for travel and the links okay and yep I'll put all the links um, above or below might even stick them all on our Amazon influencer page to make it easy to get to all of them at once. All right, yay, thanks for tuning in.